bad when I get around they hoes. I already hit it. Don't worry, little bro. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> Don't be tripping. We been hit that bitch. Not thinking about her. Promise. Girl, Bonnie Lachey. Um, and it's officially summertime. So it's summertime for a real bitch. You feel me? I heard the internet was looking for me. Y'all looking for me, huh? I bet, yeah. Anyways, what's that nigga name? K Swab? K Swab? Nigga, keep my nigga name out your motherfucking mouth. Like, what is you talking about my nigga for? You didn't have that same energy when he was out. So why is you talking about him now that he's in jail? Like, you think you got some type of power or sorority or whatever the fuck? Nigga, use a little nigga. Stay in a little nigga place. My nigga will bleed you. Like, I literally just called him and told him you was talking shit. He just laughed because you're a fucking joke, bro. The fuck is you talking about? Like, why is you even bringing him up? Like, what possessed you to even talk about my man? Like, he will really fuck you the fuck up. And really, really, he said he gonna run it with you when he get out. So what you really want to do? Like, I, I want you to run it with my man because you was just talking like you really about that life. Bitch, you is not. You a little bitch. Stop motherfucking playing yeah, with me. Yeah, but nothing the less, though, like, I've been real booked and busy. Like, I had a performance in Vegas, and I have a really big show coming up in Vegas. And honestly, like, I'm getting super booked. My shows are getting bigger, and I'm performing at bigger events and bigger shows. So, like, I really have a lot of work to do. I've been so busy, and I just want to, like, really update, like, you guys on everything. And I'm just trying to, like, be a better performer for you guys. So I'm having dancers, like, I'm having um, all that, like, the whole nine. Because, you know, I'm a real artist, and I do real um, shit. And I just, I don't have time to, like, fold under pressure because a lot of, a lot of these motherfuckers is weird. And that's why y'all been looking for me. A bitch been busy. Like, don't be looking for me now. Now the circus is dry. Niggas is locked up. Krishan in jail. Blue is in jail. Y'all could have swore y'all could depend on everybody. No, bitch. I'm the one keeping this shit running. It's my shit. The fuck? This my castle. The fuck? And then um, Ronnie going live. Krishan X talking about some. Don't be talking about the baby. This and that. Like, nigga. Like, we all know it's your kid. Like, you could stick up for your kid or whatever. But why don't you just go get your baby? Like, it's safe to get your baby now. Like, you don't have to play the role that that's not your kid. Like, you could go get your kid. Krishan's in jail. Blue's in jail. Like, go get your baby. Like, we know he paid you off to, you know, be quiet so that they could pretend, like, Blue's the dad. Like, we know. Like, it's cool. Like, niggas is locked up now. Go get your baby. Like, stop that shit. You have a, a chance to change the baby life. And instead of, you know, keeping it in that predicament and getting paid off to, like, do that, that's crazy. But you know to each his own but go get your kid now like it's safe like he's cool like we all know the baby looks dead ass just like you like just go get your kid bro just go get your kid like we already know blue mom didn't want to get him we already know blue dad didn't want to get him nobody could and then yeah so then we got krishan's family the allegations of her family scamming like yeah like everybody who's like non-famous in her family is out here scamming talking about they need money for a bail this that and the third like first of all we already know she ain't got no bail so you really not using that money for no lawyers and bill like y'all don't have none of that information all y'all got is y'all cash app and spending that money on yourself and i know y'all been doing other shit with other scamming allegations that have been floating around so we know that y'all out here scamming come on let's be motherfucking for real like y'all fans is so dumb y'all don't even catch that they've been scamming y'all out of thousands millions shit the fuck and then on top of that we got her fucking t pages out here fighting in the streets like this everybody's just in shambles like what in the fuck is going on like the castle is on fire bitch like I'm the queen of the circus. This shit don't move without me. And let's really like, clear the air. Like, I'm not talking about Tzatziki. The fuck? Everybody would love to make me talk about Tzatziki, but y'all can't. I love Tzatziki. The only time I ever say anything about her is what I've been told. And that was, like, one time. But other than that, though, the fuck? Like, I'm specifically talking about the non-famous motherfuckers in her family. Whoever is not famous. Krishan and Tzatziki. That's it. Everybody else is scamming in her family her other siblings like let's just make that clear and then zoe her old manager like that nigga out here scamming too like selling pictures of the baby for money like y'all really don't have her back like y'all is so weird like this is crazy like i would never have a group of motherfuckers that just didn't have my back like that like you wouldn't even be able to be around me like her whole team and whatever group she got going on 
is not for her. Like, the, like it's just a lot. Like, y'all don't even have her back. Like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so, like, we get it. Like, I understand. Like, niggas is out here hungry. Like, Krishan isn't taking care of her team properly or her family. Like, the people that she said she was going to take care of. So, niggas is out here scamming, doing what they got to do. So, to each his own. But, so, like, if for real, for real... On a more serious note, like if you really, really do need help, I'll have um, my manager manage you or help you um, find someone to manage and just like get you in the right path in the right direction. Like, I just feel like because of Krishan not really looking after the people that she says she's gonna look after or care about, that's having everybody do all these weird things. Like, it's just a hot ass mess out here. So, anyways, y'all, um, let's have a safe summer. Y'all stay safe out there. Um, I love you guys. I cannot wait to see y'all soon. And I'll be making another um, video so you guys could um, get to see what I have updated. Like, I have so much stuff and so much work to do. I love y'all. Man, if she don't shut the hell up, bro, she just been talking and talking and talking about bullshit and lies and talking about other people. And then she got the nerve to say, oh, I'm so booked and busy. I know y'all been looking for me. But, yeah, you got to speak on everybody else's business that ain't got shit to do with you. Now, in that case, Suave Clip, everybody was saying that it was old. So, I don't know why she talking about K-Suave. This in Blueface. That shit looked like it was made sometime last year. And who knows if he was talking about Krishan anyway, or Blueface. Her ass keep on talking some my man. Don't talk about my man. Man, Blueface ain't acknowledged you the whole time he been locked up. Telling some she was on the phone. She told him he want to run a fade. She just be lying, bro. She lied about that tattoo she got. She lied about being pregnant. She just a habitual liar. I don't take shit that she say serious. Then she's speaking on Krishan's family. Like, what the hell does Krishan got to do with you? Tell me some she's queen of the circus. You trying to get in the circus. Security keep on throwing your ass back out. She trying to sneak up in there. <laughs> she is not part of the circus. She is trying to be. Blueface ain't acknowledged you one time. And if she really was on the phone with Blueface, even just one time, she would screenshot the call. She would voice record it. She would try to do something to show proof. Because her clout chasing ass would try to do anything to stay relevant. She ain't got shit going on. She probably on one of these reality Zeus Network bullshit ass shows fighting for a couple thousand dollars a week. That's probably what she doing. But other than that, she's just speaking on Krishan, talking about Ronnie, the real father. Go get your child. You don't know shit. I did see that rumor on the internet, but it's no proof. People just will see one page saying, oh, Ronnie's the real father. And then everybody just run with it. Where's the proof? Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Cloud chasing at his finest. But that's all she know how to do. That's what she good at. I can't wait to Blueface to get out and expose her dumbass. What y'all think about this? Your boy B. Make sure I'm going to cry. I'm out.